that are currently available for integration, appraisal scope, value track, and QuickBooks desktop. I'm going to start with QuickBooks, right? So that's going to be our connection point here, call this QB. And here we go. Now we have that. So the next thing I want to do is click on details, and I want to download the QuickBooks file. Right, so here's the file that gets downloaded. We've downloaded the file from our A1 sync. What we want to do is go to QuickBooks and update web services. Now I'm in my sample company file here and web services will start in the background. So pay attention. And so this is the file that I've downloaded. And I'm just going to point to it, set, say OK here. And now we have it. The next step is to give this password that you can also grab from the file from the place where we got the file and here is the password now these things are unique right so the file is um, unique to each integration connection point so you can't reuse them um, but here you enter the password and as soon as I move the focus away to really anything uh, it gives me this uh, do you want to save this password and the answer is yes I do now I'm going to click on this checkbox and it will give me this option to update selected, which will basically run the integration between A1 Sync and your QuickBooks file. In our case, it's a sample company file. So this thing will pick up on certain objects. And let's see where we at now. So here we are. And you can see that it's initial, right? So that now I'm going to go ahead and just refresh this page. Um, and it's telling me that now it's active. And if I click on the accounts, it'll show me that it picked up on the accounts. Now you don't see bills because in this particular integration, we don't have it programmed to pick up bills from QuickBooks. Um, customers are there because we do have the customer need for customers, no invoices and items are there. So there might be an integration where you have a need to have bills pulled out from QuickBooks and then you know this is what it's for it'll be there 